All right, you box breakers and pack rippers, welcome back to another special live episode of The Box Breakers here at Joe's Card Shop, Arizona Trading Cards and Collectibles on 24th Street in Osborne. Stop in and see them or hit them up on Facebook. We've got Abe sitting in with us today. Abe, how are you doing? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. All right, what do we have here today? We have a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Looks like legendary... Duelist, Sisters of the Rose. It says girl power on it. That it does. So it's based off of a lot of the um, female anime characters. Um, so you'll see a lot of stuff like Mai and with their her harpies and um, I don't remember all the other characters, but there's black, there's Rose support, Luna lights. There's even train support in this box. So that's where a lot of the money is. If you're, if you're looking at. Or, yep. We're going for the cards worth money, as usual. So this is a, a subset pack, so it's the type of, you don't get the nine cards per pack, you get five cards per pack. Okay. Um, and then the highest rarity in these is an ultra rare. So you'll notice that you won't see any secrets in these boxes, but you will have those ultra rares that um, actually do have some value on them. Right on. Um, all right. Go Let's get, get started, into yeah. it. First pack. So this just came out today. Is that right? Uh, I believe yes, today. Today, Joe went to the to the warehouse, picked them up. Oh, looks like we got somebody coming in here. Here at Joe's Card Shop, you never know what's going to come in. What's, what's up, man? man? How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? All right. So you will let us know. So Which here one? we just have some, uh, if you go through from card for card, Harpy's Hunting Ground, like Cat Dancer. Uh, oh, they have Cyber Angel stuff in this as well. So Machine Angel Ritual. So we can do uh, different stacks. Yeah, you tell so, me which one. So this is going to be for Harpies, Lunar Light, Cyber Angel, oh, right there, and then Black Rose. So this is one of the newer cards, which will create another stack for the rares. For the Harp, uh, what is Harpy it? Harpy Lady Elegance. So a new support, actually I'm not sure really versed in what it does. So let's see. Shuffle one Harpy Lady Sisters from your monster zone into the deck. Then you can special summon three Harpy monsters with different original names. One each from your hand, deck, and graveyard. That's actually a pretty good useful effect. Should we set that slow. over there? Perfect. Um, you do have to wait a turn to use it unless you bypass it, like Temple of the Kings and things like that, but that's just funky. So. Very interesting. Good resourcing, though. Do these have little pull tabs on them, or is that different? No, this is, has just a... All right. Ruffian rail car. Okay, so one of our first... Uh, a reprint, but a good card for um, train decks. So trains would be another pile. Wow, we got lots of piles going here. Yeah. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Yes, so this would be Harpy support, Legacy... Um, a reprint as well. That's correct. Harpies. There you go. Twilight Rose Knight. That would go into the rose. And here's one of our first hollows, which is Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Know anything about this one? I do not. Also, one of the newer cards that just came out. Um, again, it's, uh, as you see, Railroad support. So it's for the train uh, deck support. Um, this one is, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one Earth monster from in your graveyard, except this card by name, special summon it in defense mode uh, position, but negate its effects. Not a bad card, actually usable in other types of decks, um, the other than trains. And Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Blooming of the Darkest Rose, really pretty artwork. So that one go in our rows? Normally, yes, but rare. And you can tell that it's rare because of the, the silver lettering. The silver lettering, yeah. got it. So there's the three rarities we'll see in this, or four if you count common. So there's commons, which are no foil on it at all. You'll see rares, which is just silver lettering. Um, super, which is only foil. And then you're going to have ultra rares, which is a gold lettering, and then uh, a foil as well on the image. Construction train, signal red. Okay, that would be a real perfect Luna Light Blue Cat. That is correct in the Luna Light stat. 
Black Garden. Oh, that's a good reprint. Uh, Black Garden was going for a couple bucks as a common, um, and then there was hollow versions going for a lot more, so this is a nice, well-received reprint. Witch of the Black Rose. Perfect. And Cyber Egg Angel. Oh, this is a nice, pretty card. Uh, new support for the Cyber Angels. If this card is summoned any form, you can add one... Well, are you trying to... Trying to get it to focus. So it says you can add one Machine Angel spell or ritual... Uh, or one Ritual Sanctuary. Wow, this searches Ritual Sanctuary. That is a very good field spell, which we'll probably end up seeing as we go through this. Okay. Perfect, right, uh, right there. there. That's great. One rare card in every pack. Five cards per pack, 36 packs per box, but no guarantee on any secrets. Or you said there are no secrets, right? Not in this box. Okay. This is, but you have uh, your ultra rares, which is our, your, your main hits. So it's a cyber uh, reprint, Cyber Angel Edithson. All right, where's this one go? Cyber Angel's right here. Harpy Lady Sisters, old reprint, but a very well received. Harpy Lady Phoenix, Phoenix formation. formation. Again, another reprint that we for the set, and here's our full first ultra rare Barrage Blast. Um, it is train support, a trap card continuous, and once per turn you can one second, detach any number of materials from a machine XC's monster you control, then target that many cards on the field and destroy them. That's actually a pretty good clear blanket destruction effect. Um, and it's actual generic, it's not specific to the um, train archetype. So. Um, Interesting to see how this can be used and will be used throughout the game. Um, but a very pretty artwork. Yeah. Struggling a little bit with the light? How's this help? No, the light's fine, I think, but it's just the focusing. There we go. That helped. All right. Uh, which pile is this one? That would be its own little its pile. Its own right? little pile. Yes. And then these are the. And then this is our rare reprint, which is a. Again, another good reprint. This is one of our Xyz machine monsters for the train deck. It's a rank 10 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. Detach one material and it burns for 2,000. And then it still can attack for 3,000. So um, it can a potential of 5,000 damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Any of these cards so far are worth more than... A dollar? Yes. Um, so the Barrage Blast is worth at around $5 at the moment. Which one was it? Oh, yes, okay. Th that's our Ultra Rare. Gotcha. Um, I don't know the so, price on the So that's basis. our best one so far, the Barrage Barrage Blast. Okay. So Cyber Angel. Eat a 10. We just had that one. Yes. Yeah, special schedule. This is a common reprint of a Dragons of Legend card right there. Elegant Egotest. Again, a reprint of an older card. Luna Light, Luna Light Leo Dancer, a reprint of a car, an older card, and here's a new card, um, Luna Light Emerald Bird. Very s special artwork. That's that's pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and read the first part of its effect. If this card is normal or special summoned. You can send one Luna Light card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, draw one card. A little bit of recycling lets you get rid of some bad cards and lets you set up the graveyard to utilize some graveyard effects. Not a bad card. Hmm. Over here? Rare. In the rare pile. Right on. Yeah, we're always so helpful or, or thankful for Abe's help here. He's just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the non-gaming stuff. So if you ever come into the shop and you got Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon... You definitely want to make sure Abe is here. <laughs> yeah, so Ritual Sanctuary. This is the field spell that we were ta mentioning earlier. Um, very good card. Usually used with um, Cyber Angels or with uh, uh, Herald Ritual decks because they're fairy based. But very good card. Night Express Night. 
Yeah. That would be one of the train cards. Reprint, again, very good. Harpy Queen. This is a card that's seen a few reprints in the past. This is its first common version. Um, will be used in every Harpy deck. Very good card. <gasps> Hiccup. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Magnificent Machine Angel. It's a quick play. Let's go ahead and read that. Tribute one Cyber Angel Ritual Monster from your hand or field and target one Light Fairy Monster. You control. It gains attack and defense equal to the level the monster had when tributed times 200. Okay, so just a little bit of a pump, and until and that's until the end of the turn. And this turn, if it battles an opponent's monster... Sorry, one second. Okay. It's okay. It's not a bad card. Wish they'd put more than five cards per pack in these things. Uh, well, these are just the special mid-sets, so they're a little bit different. Ruffian Rail Car, yes. Night Express Knight. Yeah. Harpy Lady, Harpy's Feather Storm in a hollow. Storm. This is the card that a lot of people are speculating a certain card to come back because of. Uh, so Harpy's Feather Storm is if you control a wind, uh, wing beast monster until the end of the of the turn, negate any monster effects that your opponent activates. Very strong control ability. It's any monster it doesn't control just the board. It also hits the hand graveyard very strong ability. And here's our second uh, Harpy Lady Elegance. What do you think on Harpy's Feather Storm? Price? Yeah. Or were you... Uh, you price just think wise, the playability? The, oh, the playability is... It's, it's going to be a card you're going to see three of in those decks and at the moment it's not going for much being a super so it's more readily available but it's going for about about two three bucks howdy hey Josh man i just need some sheets if i could like 30 30 sheets from yeah. uh, my pockets or? yeah please yeah. yeah and uh like maybe five of the 100 packs the oh, floppy floppy Here's these. <laughs> Cyber uh, Angel. 30. Ben 10. Really good reprint. Um, a really strong search for, um, for for fairy decks. I play it in my uh, Herald of Perfection deck. You use this as the fodder for to bring out your perfection. Then you let you search for any fairy in your deck. So it lets you load up your hand or set up a Christia play. So, great card to see. Luna Light Panther Dancer. Luna Light Cant Cat Dancer. Cyber Petite Angel. Ooh, and Dark Rose this Fairy. This is a new card. So, Dark Rose Fairy. Level 2 Dark Fairy. If a tuner or is special summoned except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this, well, it's just a little bit of an extender, and if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the, or field to the graveyard. Let's see if I can do this. Is that good? I think it needs more light. No, no, there. There you go. That's right. what it likes. But now you can't read it. Yeah, I can okay. read it. Did you... No, no worries. We'll so if this card's in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Place this card on top of the bottom of your deck. You can only use each effect of Dark Rose Fairy once per turn. Okay, not a bad card. It's very cute. <laughs> cute card? Yeah, I guess, I guess this is a product gear to for your girlfriend or special lady in your... Gotcha. Yeah. Or if you just like them. So another Cyber Angel Ben 10. Very good card. Oops. Yeah. Luna Light Cat Dancer again. Machine Angel Ritual. Harpy Lady Sisters. We've seen that one. And Luna Light Yellow Martin.
That was right there. All right. Nothing cool on Luna Light. Oh, uh, the Luna Light's sitting. Uh, from what I remember, they get they get a new fusion monster, which isn't bad. Uh, but nothing crazy that it's gonna do change the meta. Luna Light. Kaldeo chick. Kaleido chick. Kaleido chick. Where's that one go? Luna Light. Another Harpy, Harpy Queen. Queen. Luna, Luna Light. Light. Cyber Angel. And in Incarnated Machine Angel. Oh, okay, this is a new support card. Oh. Construction Train, Signal Red. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Black Rose Dragon. And here's our second Ultra Rare. Um, I apologize, let me try to... Oh, you're good. Urgent I can read schedule. it. You want me to read it? Well, I'm just going to highlight some of the key things from it first. So, Urgent Schedule is a, it's a spell card quick play um, for the train decks. So, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon one level four or lower and one level five or higher earth machine monster from your deck in defense position, but negate... Wow, that is a very powerful card. So look out for this card if you're going to be playing it or playing against train decks. Okay. Um, it allows you to get a lot of resources really quickly to go into those big monsters that control, end up controlling or attacking over you really quickly. Awesome. And Luna Light Emerald Bird. Um, and I Bird. didn't actually mention the price on this card. This card is going for $15. Nice. Luna Light Emerald Bird. Cool. We see that one before? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Urgent schedule. That's our top card so yeah, far. Top card. One of the two, two highest price cards. There's one twenty dollars card in here that we're looking for. So. Black Garden. Harpy Lady Sisters. <coughs> Excuse me. Luna Light. Uh, Colado check. check. We saw that one a minute ago. Okay. Snowplow. Hustle Russell. It's for the trains. Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Cool. Cyber Angel. Dinky. Luna Light Blue Cat. Blue Rose Dragon. Dude, this is a really nice card. Common, though. Um, Which one? Go into the rose pile. Uh, the Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. Phoenix Formation. We saw here. that one. And look, you got both of the rose dragons in a one pack. Blue rose and the red rose. So blue rose is an older, the older card that just got reprinted as a common, but red rose is a rare that's new to this set, and it's going to see. Obviously, it's designed for the rose decks, but if I remember correctly. This card lets you special summon a rose monster from your hand or deck, which is why it lets you extend your plays and keep resourcing, which is very crucial for going into deeper plays. Hmm. Can't quite get it to focus. Oh, there you go. It's yeah. It likes the light. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that one goes into the rare here. Pile. This one goes there. There. Okay. First half of the box, not so bad so far. Not so bad. No, definitely very good. Luna Light Leo Dancer. Night Express Night. Ritual Sanctuary. And here's the new uh, Luna Light Fusion. Luna Light Saber Dancer. Okay, let's get that. A little bit extra light in there. Got it. Beast Warrior. You want me to read this? Um, I'm actually pulling it up right now so I can actually be on top of it. Okay. Technology. Helpful, right? So, it must be fusion summoned, so there's no real way to cheat this. Um, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects, so it has that shield barrier ability that is very strong with boss cards. It gains 200 attack for each Beast Warrior uh, monster that is banished and in the graveyard. 
So that includes both yours and your opponent's. So if your opponent happens to be playing Beast Warriors, this card can get really strong in the mirror match. Um, during your main phase, except during the turn this card is was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one fusion monster you control, and it gives it 3,000 attack. Very strong card. Uh, priced around $4 at the moment. Harpy Lady Elegance. It's a trap card. Third Elegance that we've pulled. Not a bad. Uh, Abe, we're going to have to speed this up, otherwise we're going to get cut off. Alright, let's just go through, and okay. then since most of the rares we're, and commons we've seen already, yeah. let's just go ahead and go push through and All see. Alright, Harpy go, Queen. Harpy Queen, go down to the Harpy Pile. Where's the Harpy Pile? Cyber Angel. Cyber Angel's right here. Twilight Rose. Bam, and there we go, Harpy's Feather Rest. So... Um, target three Harpy Ladies and, and or Harpy Lady Sisters in your graveyard, return them to the deck, then draw one card. If you control a level five or higher Harpy Monster at activation, draw two cards instead. You cannot special summon for those of this turn except Wind Monsters. You can only activate one per turn. This is one This is one of the money cards right now. Is it? Yes, it is. This card was going for uh, $10. Okay, awesome. And Dark Rose Fairy. Yeah, perfect. Um, that Harpy's Feather Rest is going to be a really good card for Harpy decks just to dig a little bit deeper to get into more resources. Cyber Angel, Luna Light Perfume, Construction Train, Signal Red, and. Gustav Max. Whatever that one is. That Super Dreadnought cool. Rail Cannon, Gustav Max. Quite the name. It's excessive, like what it does. <laughs> Ruffian Railcar, Cyber Angel, Luna Light, Mark of the Rose, and Luna Light Yellow Martin. Last pack for the first pack. Three um, ultra rares. Mark of the Rose. Machine Angel Ritual, Elegant Arby's. Egotist, Snowplow Hustle Russell, Magnificent Machine Angel. I think we'll make it as long as we keep this pace up, but we're down to six minutes. Construction Signal Red, Ecstasy Spark, That's correct. Black Rose. Cyber Angel and Cyber Egg Angel. Snowplow. We've seen that. Here's the Blue Rose again. Ruffian Rail Card. Luna Light. Kalido Chick. Magnificent Machine Angel. No, I was saying Luna Light. Oh, I didn't need more light. I was like <laughs> Black Garden. Rose. Ritual Sanctuary. Forget. Cyber Petite Angel. Angel. Luna Light. Serenade Dance Hollow. Thank you. I'll sleeve them up over here. Oh, thank you. Harpy Lady Elegance. Right there. Perfect. I mean, if there's any that are... You know, a big deal. Definitely let me know or s slow me down. Luna Light Cat Dancer, Machine Angel, Cyber Angel, Night Express Knight. Which one was that one in? Night Express Knight. Uh, Machine Angel here. That's there. Dark Rose Fairy again. Luna Light, Panther Dancer. Right there, Harpy's Hunter Dog. Which one? Harpy's. Harpy's. Witch of the Black Rose, Mark of the Rose, Luna Light Yellow 
Mark 10. Perfect. It appears that buying one of these boxes will get you a lot of the, the, the cores for these stacks. Um, you'll just be missing probably more of the hollows and have to trade around for them. And here's Super another Express. one of our money cards. Super Express Bullet Train. Yeah, Super Express Bullet Train is worth around $10 right now at the time of opening. And it's one of those cards that you're going to be using for that um, train deck that I've been mentioning repeatedly for this. Very cool. Cool artwork, too. All right. And then we have Red Rose Dragon. Oh, that is a pretty card. Three minutes. Mark of the Rose, Lunar Light, Special Schedule, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Look at that artwork. Second one. Nice. Incar incarnated Machine Angel. Harpy Queen, Special Schedule, Blue Rose Dragon, Luna Light Perfume, and Luna Light Emerald Bird. I'll just help clean these up a little bit. Twilight Rose, Luna Light, Triangle Ecstasy, Snowplow, Hustle Russell, Magnificent Machine Angel. Feel free to open open for me we're gonna run out of time which of the black rose cyber egg angel we've seen that one a few times thank you Abe blue rose dragon black rose dragon which of the black rose here's cyber angel Azena hollow we can uh, if you want we can do a strategy a video later dark rose fairy uh, sure I th if we hustle we might be able to make this Cyber Angel Dark, oops, Black Garden, Ritual Sanctuary, Red Rose Dragon again, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Mark of the Rose, Yellow Light, Luna Martin, Cyber Angel Special Schedule, Luna Light, Leo Dancer, here's that long name rail car, and our last couple packs looks like we'll make it here ruffian rail car harpy lady phoenix foundation blooming of the darkest rose i think we've seen that one pretty cool harpy queen there's a blue rose dragon luna light fusion hollow very cool and the machine angel cat dancer Harpy Lady Sister, Harpy Perfumer. There we go. This perfumer. is the most expensive card in the set. There you have it. $20 card right there. Boom. That's very nice. Uh, Luna Light. Let's see if there's any other thing. Red, nothing we haven't already seen. And so this is our last. That was our last pack. Came in our second to last pack. Harpy Perfumer. Check that artwork out. Very cool. All right, well, thanks again to Abe. Thanks to Joe here at Arizona Trading Cards and Collectibles. Uh, this has been your legendary duelist Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, Sisters of the Rose, and we found the Harpy Perfumer, the most expensive card in the whole box. Thanks for tuning in here on the Box Breakers. We'll see you next time. We're out.